guys. Um, since we couldn't have our last two classes, I wanted to give you a quick video demonstration of the last two techniques that we were going to cover. Um, so this one is going to be on the pamphlet stitch. Uh, so you have a kit and you should have enough materials to make two different books. Um, I'm going to walk you through one and if you have questions you can always pause it, rewind, stuff like that. Okay, so um, the very first thing you want to do is grab your first piece of cover paper that you're going to use and just fold it in half. You've got um, a long rectangle like this and we just want to fold the two short edges together. Okay, and then you can just fold them together with one hand and then press them down. Okay, and then you also should have, um, your packet has 12 pieces of paper like this for pages. You want to take six of those pages out now and then fold those in half as well, short edges together. And um, as always, I recommend folding each page one at a time so that you um, get a nice smooth crease. Um, I have already folded my other pages, so I'm going to stack all of my pages together like this. It's really important that you make sure all of them are in one single V if you have them um, bunched together like if you have them like this where they're just sitting side by side not actually resting on top of each other your holes won't go through you'll you'll end up not sewing some of them together in the book so what you want to do is you want to take all of them make sure they're all opened in the V and all nested together okay and then also you want to take your um, cover and just add it to the whole group. Okay, so if you have a ruler um, and a pencil, what you can do is actually measure out how uh, far where you need to put your holes. So I place my ruler here and the book is five and a half inches tall. So half of five is two and a half and then half of a half inch is a quarter inch. So that means I want to go to two and three quarters inch and mark a little dot right in the center of my book uh, of my pages now um, if you don't have a ruler or you don't want to use a ruler you can just kind of eyeball it um, and then from there what you can do is measure one inch from the edge of the paper in so I'm gonna mark put a hole there and then on this end I'm gonna measure one inch in as well and again, if you don't have a ruler, you can just eyeball it. Let's see. Here are my three holes. So there's one here, one here, and one here. So the main thing you need to know is there's a hole in the center, and there's a hole that's about an inch away from the edge on either side. If you do a hole too close to the edge, it can rip the pages out and your binding can come out. Um, so, all right, once you have those, because you don't have an awl, um, which is how we normally would punch the hole, I've included a needle. So what I recommend is very carefully taking your needle, and I always start at the middle hole here, and just pushing it. Now I want to show you, my hands are on the back, but they're up high. And I'm just gently pushing with that pointy needle through. The very, very, very important thing is that you keep your hands away from that hole, okay? Um, on the side, I'm going to go to the next hole here, and I'm just going to kind of, if you twist it, you can see my hands are way up here at the top on this hole. I'm doing the bottom hole here. If you just twist and push, it'll work its way through, okay? And then I'm going to do the other. So I'm going to hold the top here where we just put that hole through, and then I'm going to work on the other one. So my hands are way away from where that needle is going through the paper. Okay just slowly taking my time and pushing it through. Okay, so when you have all your pages folded in together and with holes, then you need to thread your needle. So I included two um, threads uh, in different colors for you in your kit and they're cut to the correct size. So you just wanna thread your needle through like that and have about this much thread on that one end so that you your needle doesn't slip off every time you sew it. 
So you've got your pages with your holes, you've got your needle and thread. You want to start from the inside of your pages in that middle hole and take your needle and go through the center hole. Again, my hands are way up here, away from where my needle is. And then on the other side, once I get the needle most of the way through, then I'm going to pull it. And did you see I was wiggling it a little bit? Because right where the thread and the needle join, sometimes that's hard to get it through that hole. So you just have to wiggle it. Okay, so now I'm pulling. I'm going to leave, that's probably about three inches of thread on the inside. Um, I like to hold it with one hand so that when I'm pulling on this side, it doesn't just pull all the way through. If it pulls all the way through, just take a second and redo that step, okay? Next, you wanna go to one of the holes um, on the side and just push it through. And then once it's most of the way through, you can pull. And again, you saw I was wiggling it to get it through there. Okay, and so I always double check that my thread is flat and give it a little pull. And then now on the inside, I'm gonna move this little thread out of the way. And I'm gonna go all the way to this top hole up here. And I'm gonna put my needle through there. Okay, and then once it's through a little ways, I'm gonna be pulling my needle out See, it gets a little hard here, so I'm just pulling and wiggling at the same time. Okay, so now I've got, it looks like this on the inside. It looks like this on the outside. Okay, so I have to actually move my needle down the thread a little bit to give myself a little bit more space. And then I'm going to put it right through that middle hole and sometimes this is a little tricky because there's already thread there. So you just have to take your time, make sure you've got space for it. And right now my needle keeps going through my other thread. So I'm going to, there we go. Okay, so now let's see, you can see my needle is coming through. Okay. And again, that one is tricky. So. All right, so now it looks like this on the outside, and it looks like this on the inside. At this point, you can take your needle off of your thread, okay? And mine is, both my pieces are on one side, and this um, middle string is up. So I don't want that. If I were to tie the knot right now here, it could just pull through on the other side, and then the binding would come apart. So what we want to do, is we want to have one end on either side. So I'm just going to take this one and run it underneath the big long thread. Okay, so now I have, so I can show you real quickly. So I have this one, the long thread running through the middle of where I'm going to tie my knot. So you're really trapping this long thread in between your knot. So I have one um, piece in each hand, and I think we're all righties in this class. So you take your right one, um, right hand string, and put it over and around through your left hand string, and pull that down. And then you take your left hand string, and you put it over your right hand string, and around and pull it down. That's called a square knot, and that's nice and strong. And then all you do, after that is you cut your um, thread. I like to leave a fair amount, that way it can't wiggle out. If you cut the extra off right here, down at the bottom, it um, could wiggle out of the, the knot. But I cut right there, leave about half an inch or so, and then I just take my thread and press it down. And then you just take this and you fold it up and you've got your book. So. I hope you have fun with that. Once you finish, if you want to send me a picture so I can see them, that would be great. I hope you have fun and um, enjoy making these two books. Bye.